Jaspers also rolling in had some thunderstorms out over Mount Airy and through Stewart earlier today near Ennis quickly moving through dropping in about a half an inch on the high end and a lot of folks just getting a few sprinkles here now from Winston Salem and East may total up to about a tenth of an inch. So light rainfall totals you can see some of these showers here between Belus Creek, Kernersville and Summerfield only growing to about 20 maybe 22,000 feet. So not impressive when it comes to thunderstorm activity. We don't expect to see a whole lot more tonight. All of this fizzling now as it moves generally to the east and northeast. All of that remnants of berries moisture to our north and some of that moisture converts here still from the southwest. We've got temperatures today 99 right now for your actual high in Burlington reported 96 in Greensboro. It makes it the hottest day of the year so far. Also Reedsville and 94 in Winston Salem. We've had enough with the heat, but we do have some heat concerns. Just a reminder that heat is the number one weather killer. Has the person stopped sweating? You're going to want to look for this tomorrow. If you have folks that you're working outside with on the job or young kids, older adults, all more impacted by the heat, get into the shade. And of course, you can use some ice packs too to help. So just a reminder, as we talk about ramping up that heat into the weekend, it's going to get worse. 75 degrees tomorrow morning. We've got patchy fog and then the sun is up pretty quickly. Remember, the sun is up around 6 a.m. for us. So we heat up a little bit more fat there quickly at 88 degrees at lunchtime. Rain chances at 30%. So lower rain chances at lunchtime, better rain chances much later in the day with rain chances at 40% through the afternoon. Also in Mount Airy, East Bend, Yakinville, you're going to get it on the steamy action too. 92 could feel as high as 99 to near 100, and those lower 100s also in place for folks in the tribe. With 65 though in the mountains, Ennis and Sparta, you're only going to feel like 90 degrees. But for the high country, that's a pretty big deal. The good news is that you're going to get those clouds starting to build a little earlier for you. Those widely scattered showers and storms might greet you by noon and start really ramping up as we go into the afternoon and early evening again. Your heat index right now, as we've talked about from your Friday afternoon into the weekend, looks to be pretty intense. Lower 100s, 100 to 104 might be just shy of an advisory criteria for us, but we're going to be certainly checking in with the National Weather Service as they'll make that decision as we get closer to both Friday and Saturday. It depends also if we're going to have enough cloud cover and thunderstorms to help spread out later in the afternoon to help dampen and the impacts of temperature and humidity. Well, Sunday afternoon looks just a little bit better now. We still expect to see feels like temperatures, though, that are running four or five degrees above our forecast highs straight through Monday until we break down that pattern. So your heat index right now 105 in Greenville, where President Trump is speaking Norfolk 108. Saturday's forecast, well, hot and steamy. If you have any outdoor plans, maybe you're heading to summer on Liberty. Well, West End Mambo will be playing a big band here in Winston-Salem that has a lot of popularity. Well, storm chances still in play, but only a rain chance of 20%. Here's your seven day forecast. Look at that impact days Thursday as well as Sunday, Monday and Tuesday for the heat and then storm chances are good through Tuesday with cooler low 80s on the way.